What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now I have a nice simple little project for you. This is going to be a really quick video. It's just a last minute little gift idea. These are end grain uh, coasters. Nice and simple to make, made from scrap wood, all done on the table. So about an hour's worth of labour in this and then allowing for the glue up time. Um, they're very, very nice and quick and simple to make. So I've done five sets of four, wrapped them in a nice kind of little tartan bow for Christmas and uh, they will be going along with a little bottle of wine as gifts for people for Christmas and again like I said it's about an hour's work and you can batch these out and make loads of them if you want and they turn out very very pretty and they're a really nice way to use up some offcuts and you get to have some little end grain coaster so without further ado let's just crack on and get these made okay guys so this is what we're working with just various offcuts trying to use up some scrap wood we're going to do this as quickly as possible everything is going to be done on the table saw so we're going to start ripping stuff down to roughly 20 by 20 I think most of these are about 18 mil in thickness so the squares might end up being 18 mil by 18 mil but it's just rip all this stuff through the table saw at about 18 millimeters like I said square and see what we're left with glue it up slice it all up and let's make ourselves some end grain coasters as little Christmas gifts let's do it Okay guys, there we go, 18 by 18 millimeter, all ripped down, and I'm gonna go four by four, and that's plenty big for a coaster, so nice little checkered end grain pattern. It's kind of a random pattern, no particular order, just using whatever kind of uh, wood species I have to hand in offcuts. And uh, yeah, just kind of randomize it and to glue this together. So to glue it together, nice and simple, I'm just gonna type on three, and I'm gonna wrap this with um, some uh, masking tape rather than trying to clamp all this I want to glue it up in one go so we don't have to be too particular about this it will make this nice quick and easy so let's glue it up wrap it in tape and uh, we'll take it from there let's do that okay so we're nice and glued up I have it roughly square this again this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect and we're just going to wrap this now in tape nice and tight just to get it all to sit together Okay, there we go. All glued up, let that go off now. And we can start uh, chopping these into slices. Nice and simple. Okay guys, so we're out of the tape. It's all glued up. I just took it to the table saw again and just squared it up. It didn't come out perfectly square out of the tape, but square enough for what this project is. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I ran it back through the table saw just to flatten out those sides. And while it's still in its block form, I just ran the sander on it because when I start slicing this up, it's going to be a little bit harder to sand those edges. So get that done now, and that would save us all the work uh, later on. So it's nice and square, all sanded up. It's just a case to take this to the miter saw now and chop it up. Okay guys, set up at the miter saw. I just have a stop block set up here to make all these nice and quick cuts. I'm going to do a, a truing cut at the end just to flush off that face. And then we can start doing our cuts. And they're going to be 18 millimeters. So the thickness of these are going to be the same width as the actual square pieces. So they are 18 mil. So the thickness, I'll keep that 18 mil as well. I want them kind of chunky because I'm going to put a chamfer on them. And uh, our block is lovely and square all the way around, which is happy days. So uh, yeah, I can put that against my fence, against the base of the miter saw, and we can chop away. So let's do that. Safety gear first. Okay guys, there we go, all chopped up. I have 18 of them in total, so three sets of six. Um, I have a little bit of fraying on the edges here. A sacrificial fence on the miter saw would have been a good option just to stop that. It's not too bad, there's no real breakout, it's just a little bit of tidying up. These are gonna be sanded anyway, so no big deal. Now I have just taken one of them and just put a little chamfer around the base, just as a little detail. Just take the thickness off it, 
They're nice little chunky ones. This is a large mug and uh, sits on there perfect. Doesn't rock, plenty of support. It's not gonna tip over or anything like that. So uh, yeah, happy days. And most glasses and mugs are smaller than this one anyway. So that will be absolutely perfect. So happy days there indeed. Now, I'm gonna chamfer all these. I'm gonna do that on the table saw. They're a little too small to get them on a jig. So I'm gonna have to do it by hand. I'll show you now, if you guys don't feel comfortable doing this, don't attempt it. I'm gonna do it. I've already done a test piece. I feel comfortable enough to do this. And uh, so I'm gonna crack on and do it. So let's do it. Okay guys, there we go. All chamfered and all sanded up now as well. So just kind of hit them with the little orbital sander, rolled off the edges just to make them nice and soft. There's no hard corners on them. Now, that technique I used on the table saw, I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. To me, I felt comfortable enough doing it. The blade is only barely protruding from the top. It's angled away from the fence, so there's no chance of anything, of any kickback because the piece cannot get stuck between the blade and the fence. So I was comfortable enough in what I was doing there. If you're not, don't attempt it. I could have made a, spent a couple of hours making a jig to do that. It's kind of hard to catch small pieces in the jigs that I have already made. They're for larger pieces. It's hard to get a clamp on it and run it over that table saw. So that's just technique I used. Again, I'll leave up to you guys whether you do it or not and uh, feel free to criticize away so not next to do now but to get some finish on these I wrapped them in a christmas bow and we're almost there okay let's get some finish on them i'm just going to hit these with some danish oil it's nice and simple to use if i can get the top off there we go nice quick and simple a couple of coats of danish oil let them dry and they should be good to go that oil to soak into that end grain. They're gonna be very, very nice indeed. Again, very, very simple to make. Apart from the glue drying, you could do it in an hour. There's really not much to it. All those cuts on the table saw and miter saw. Very, very quick. Nice, easy way to use up some scrap wood. And uh, yeah, they turn out quite nice indeed. Nice little kind of decorative coasters. Okay guys, there we go, all finished up. A couple of coats of Danish oil and they look quite nice indeed. Now, I have enough to do five sets of four, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I've just wrapped them up in a nice kind of little tartan ribbon, kind of a little Christmassy ribbon. Uh, my bow tying skills are not great, so I'm sure my wife will redo all those before she suffers the holy mortifying shame of me giving those bows to someone as a present. Uh, it's just kind of, a, like I said, a tartan ribbon. So nice and simple, nice little effect, and a really nice little kind of little gift to give to somebody. Um, maybe along with a bottle of wine or something like that. Some nice little coasters for the glasses, that kind of thing. And mugs, nice mugs usually come in sets of four. So little sets of four. Uh, um, end grain coasters. Just a nice, quick, simple little gift. Again, took me about an hour to make. Um, obviously waiting for the glue to dry, leave that for a few hours, but total labor on that, just an hour. Nice, quick, and simple. And the longer you make the pieces, the more of these you can chop out of them, and uh, they turn out quite nice indeed. So there you go, guys. A kind of a last minute gift idea that's nice, fast, and simple to make, and very effective, and I'm sure people would love them too. So hopefully you've enjoyed that one, guys. Hopefully you got something out of it, as always. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new here, think about subscribing. And uh, have yourself a great Christmas and a happy new year. And I shall see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.